once again, we give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai, Kwadash, Barakata. All right, salutation to all your brothers that's pushing the truth and sincerity. All right, uh, big up to the apostles uh, of GMS. All right, so we are here once again. I had to prophesy the downfall of so-called white man and, and bring out the various of uh, uh, numerous of topics also. All right, but the topic I like to get into, man, is uh, uh, forsake all for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Forsake all for Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shah? You know what I'm saying? You gotta forsake all, man. And according to the scriptures, your, uh, the, the family of own uh, your own household is gonna be your enemies. They're gonna be your enemies, man. All right, brothers and sisters that you grew up with, you know what I'm saying, since childhood, they're going to turn against you, man. All right, they're going to talk about you. And I'm like, whoa, what religion he's in? You know what I'm saying? So you're going to miss a lot of family functions, going out of town with the family, going out the country. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna miss a lot, you know? But it's all about serving your high, why your high, shy, man. All right, serving the most high, our creator, and his beloved son, man. All right, everything else... It, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, man. You know, because we're trying to build up that spiritual bank account. We want the kingdom. We want salvation. All right? We want to get the hell out of here since yesterday. All right, so, but there's great examples of how disciples forsook all for Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah. We're going to bring, up, bring out those scriptures. All right? We're going to bring out those scriptures for edification's sake. All right? So let's start off with... Uh, Let's go to Matthew real quick. Let's go to Matthew. Let's go to Matthew. Matthew 19. I start at 26. Alright. Uh it said, but Yahweh But Yahweh beheld them and said unto them with men, these, these this is impossible. But with Yahweh, all things are possible. All right, but with Yahweh, all things is possible with Yahweh. You understand? Remember when uh, Moses and, uh, and and the twelve tribes of Israel, how he turned the water, the the the, the rock, into water. You know what I'm saying? Water came out gushing out through the through the rock. You know, so with Yahweh, anything is possible with Yahweh, man. Anything. You know, when you read these different accounts in the Bible, wow, your mouth just dropped. Your mouth just dropped because it's, it's so many miracles in the scriptures, man. And Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai showed his powers in the scriptures, man. You understand? So read that again. But Yahweh Shai, this is Matthew 19, 26. But Yahweh Shai beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. With Yahweh, all things are possible. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all. We have what? We have forsaken all. And follow thee. What shall we have therefore? And how shall I say unto them, Verily, I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. Yea, also shall sit upon the twelve tribes, I mean twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Ah, right, here we go. And, and that, that's a re, reincarnation scripture. All right, regeneration, reincarnation, is pretty much the same. You understand? That the spirit doesn't die, the spirit comes back again. But the flesh goes back to the ground, and the spirit get, go back to the Most High. And you come back every, uh, every three or fourth generation. So yes, Reincarnation does exist. Okay? It said, um, this is Matthew 19, 29. And everyone that has forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wives or children or land for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So when you forsake all for the Lord and Savior, man, you're going to inherit everlasting life. 
All right, and that's what the brothers is out there uh, wants to accomplish. You know, because they want to sit on thrones, man. You know, they want to be a judge. You know, they 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 work they're out there working for that penny. You know, so that's what it's about at the end of the day, man. Working for that penny, which is the kingdom of heaven. All right, which is the kingdom of heaven. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So who the, who the first right now? The elites, like the Illuminati. All right. Go to this noise, uh, come by. Nothing but confusion, man. Alright? It said, but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Alright? So like the Illuminati, the elites, they in their kingdom. You know, they in their kingdom, man. You know? Jake, we in the bottom. We the bottom of the barrel, man. But the scripture said, those that are last will be first. We last in everything, man. Last higher, first fire, and the list goes on, man. So, and the Mosai only dealing with the meek and the poor. Only with the meek and the poor, man. Okay? Let me get another scripture out. Edification's sake, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Jeremiah 17. Let me get that real quick. Jeremiah 17, I start at verse 12. It said, Glorious high throne for the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. All right, this is really our sanctuary, this knowledge, this truth right here, man. All right, God says the Lord. All right. O oh, Yahweh, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. Yes, right. You forsake Yahweh, Shem, and Shai, you're going to be ashamed, man. That's why you got to continue coming out and do this work. Continuously, man. All right? Because you don't want the most out to forsake you, man. He's going to destroy you. I said, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be ridden in the earth, because they have forsaken Yahweh, the fountain of the living waters. Right? That's right. The most high might destroy your ass with missiles. He's going to destroy your ass, man. Maybe with famine, with the sword, death. Pestilence. So he's gonna destroy you here on earth, man. Alright? So heal me, oh Yahweh, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou, for thou art my praise. Behold, they say unto me, Where's the word of Yahweh? Let it come down. As for me, I have not hastened. From being, from being a pastor to follow thee, right? To follow thee. We follow Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Our Lord and Savior. Right? As for me, I have not hastened from being a pastor to follow thee. Neither have I desired the woeful day that knowest that which came out of my lips was right before thee. Be not a terror unto me, die my hope in the day of evil. Let them be confounded that persecute me, but let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed, but let not me be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. Destroy them, most high. Destroy the two-third niggas, man. Because these niggas are our enemy. The family that you grew up with. They are your enemy, man. They are your enemy. My mother already been put to death. My sister already been put to death. You understand? I warned them. I talked to them. But they want to take heed. So when you don't take heed of the word, the most high going to destroy you. Thus says the Lord, man. So turn your life around. Stop being a hawk. Stop being a hawk. 
I'm talking to whoever. If it's applied to you, it applies to you. Because a woman only supposed to have one man. She supposed to have numerous addicts in her life. One man only. You was only designed to have one man. And take them hair weeds off. You don't need that. Be natural. Be yourself. Stop being like the white woman. You understand? If it apply to you, it apply to you. You understand? All right, because prophet and laws ain't no ass kisses, man. We're not here to please you, man. This is what we're here to do. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up. Isaiah 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. Spin not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. So that is our job. To show these people their transgressions, man. Judah, Judah all the way down to Issachar. The Negroes, Latino, and the natives. That is our job. You understand? <laughs>